I think it's hard to tell a 16 year old that has a lot going on at home or has different responsibilities that you need to know what you want to do for the rest of your life. But I think it needs to be more skills based. So what do you actually enjoy doing? What do you enjoy studying? Like what academic disciplines do you thrive at? Why do you thrive at those things? Like getting to those questions, those reasons, and then being able to match careers up with that. It's probably around 15 or 16 when I was trying to get work experience. Um, so I applied for work experience in all sorts of kind of different areas to kind of get the feel of what I wanted to do and where I wanted to work in the future. So it was actually really helpful for me because I could rule out some areas that I didn't want to work in purely through uh, kind of, well not that I didn't enjoy my work experience, but um, I just knew it wasn't for me. So that was really beneficial in helping me kind of plan for the future. I started thinking about careers when I was like um, GCSEs, um, exploring different ones. Like I wanted to be an actress for a long time, but then um, I read Of Mice and Men and Curly's Wife like just, you know. But like, yeah, I looked, I started in at GCSEs and just thinking about the different options which are out there, what I enjoy, what I could see myself doing. Start early, so Obviously, if you've chosen your um, A-levels, then that's fine. Um, but definitely start approaching uh, employers and join, for example, social networks in terms of LinkedIn. Find people who are maybe early in their careers, um, students who are at uni as well, and just see what options are out there. Most people think that if you want to be a lawyer, you only have to be good at English or writing. Actually, no, some lawyers are very scientific and they do like IP law and different, like there's different skill sets in every job and people feel like if lawyers are the only people that work in a law firm but actually no, we have people that work in finance, people that work in HR, people that do all kinds of things so I think it's really about broadening the, the scope or the horizons of young people from early. It's probably a good time to start thinking about career options by at least year 10 because a lot of the choices that you make will have an impact on your future so things like GCSE subjects can affect what A levels you can take the yeah, levels you take, some of the different courses and different universities that you could go to, um, or different apprenticeships if you want to do that as well. A lot of employers nowadays are offering uh, insight programmes earlier on, so there's always opportunities out there for work experience, even if it's shadowing or volunteering. So my advice would be just to sort of get involved and um, use your networks. And if you haven't got a network, then try to make one. Probably like as you've just started at university, I would say. Um, for me, that was because of outreach. I wouldn't have really been considering it otherwise, but I started going to Insight Days in my sort of first few terms at university, and that sort of set the scene for where I thought I might apply to for an internship in my second year. Um, so yeah, in the first few months at university, you can put yourself in like a really good position um, from just like having a, having a think about it. Starting young, so 16 is a good age, but making sure that they know that there's loads of options out there from just the typical medicine, law, accountancy, banking, yeah, that there's lots of things they can do and they should follow their dreams and their passions. Are you ambitious but unsure what opportunities are out there for you? Inside the Aspire Guide you will find information about universities, school leaver programmes, apprenticeships, advice for dealing with exam stress, the student loan system and many inspirational stories and tips for success from students just like you. Find out more on aspire.archreach.org.uk